hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. What is good, everybody? Okay, so obviously you can tell by the hat, this is not about my championship Celtics. This is about my Ravens now. I saw this video. I saw this video, y'all. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me rewind it a little bit. Let's listen to this together, okay? <sighs> then we're going to go on a little uh, history lesson of, from what he said, okay? Um, let me make sure I have the audio up. It might be a little blasting in your ear, so my apologies. Now, who is this fool? Mark? Zelliker, whatever his last name, what Zelikic, whatever, whatever it is. Okay, um, stupidity one on one and go. I do not want to hear from all of you out there that are telling me that Lamar Jackson, well, they don't get him weapons. How many first round wide receivers do you need to draft? Well, they're not drafting the right one. Well, you're not developing them. Well, how we, we we've been saying that. We've been saying that. How do you develop them? Well, your quarterback has a long way to go in developing wide receivers. So, Okay, so I'm, he got more. He got more. But right off the top of the head, first person I thought about, Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, heck. Burrow wasn't doing that, what he's done until Chase got there. Justin Jefferson made Kirk Cousins look so good because Justin Jefferson is that elite. He didn't have to get developed in the NFL. He was already beasting like he is and still will continue to be for years and years. So I don't want to hear that bullshit from you anymore. Beep. Any of you Baltimore fans, I'm tired of it. They drafted first round of talent. They drafted tight ends in the first round. They drafted... The last tight end they drafted in the first round is Hayden Hurst. The same Hayden Hurst that's been on, what, four or five teams? Yeah, yeah. Since Lamar, Mark Andrews has been his best. Now he has Isaiah Likely. Isaiah Likely had a breakout last year with Mark being injured. So this year we're going to see, knock on wood, both of them beast. Continue. Three different wide receivers since 2018 in the first round. I mean, Aaron Rodgers went, what, 16, 17 years with the Green Bay Packers? They never drafted a guy in the first round, whether it was a tight end. Aaron Rodgers had some of the best, best wide receivers in the game. One of them is in uh, Devontae Adams. Had three people on him. I think it was the Ravens that did that. Covered him with three people. Two cornerbacks in a safety for one man. Come on! Or a wide receiver for him. So don't tell me about it. I mean, it's one of those things. Don't tell me about the pain. Show me the baby. Producing the playoffs. Okay. So, let's go with the history lesson. <sighs> like I said, tight end, they drafted first round. As he stated, it's Hayden Hurst. Which was trash. Trash. Okay. And multiple teams have agreed that it's trash. I don't even know where the heck he at now. He done got bounced around so much. Like a freaking ping pong ball just going everywhere. Okay. Wide receiver Marquise Brown. Has Marquise Brown had an outstanding season like he has since he left the Ravens? No. Okay. Then we got Rashad Bateman. I like Rashad. I believe Rashad's going to do good this year. But let's be real. He's been injured. A lot. So, that has not produced. Okay. Then, the next after that is Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers produced. He had a hiccup in the playoffs. But, other than that, we know he's going to be outstanding elite. Knock on wood, he's going to be on elite level. Continue to be elite level, I should say. Now, he says develop. He doesn't say the organization needs to develop he says the quarterback the quarterback the best can do is throw you the ball accurately 
That's their job. That is Lamar's job. Throw you the ball accurately. But Lamar has said constantly over and over and over, if you want the ball, get open. That's it. He said Aaron Rodgers. Devontae Adams had no problem getting open with his skill set. No problem. But did Aaron Rodgers win a Super Bowl with a Devontae? No. No. He, yeah, he couldn't pass San Francisco. But that's a different topic. But he's talking about all these other quarter. Pat Mahomes pretty much is the only one that I say is completely different. And the referees help him out. But he's like, it's Pat, in my opinion, Pat Lamar. That's where it's at. Because Ravens have showed when Lamar is out, and they have a Huntley back there that's no longer with the team. He's a Brownie now. The team goes on a losing streak, pretty much. Lamar, everybody should know Lamar is that dude. That's why he's two-time MVP, future MVP of the NFL and the Super Bowl MVP. Again, three-time MVP, that's what I'm saying. Now, How can you sit there and continue to blame Lamar? Well, he's not developed. This man is doing everything he can. Half of the playoff games he has experienced, no one helped or showed up with him. Only maybe a Marquise Brown when he was there. The defense didn't show up a couple of times until they got row. Defense showed up last. Now, last year, the only person showed up was Lamar and Zay. Zay had that mishap. We don't know what would happen if he, if he did not have that mishap to tie up the game. But you got to have more than that. Patrick Mahomes, you have some, some uh, Kelsey will go off or he, the referees play like they don't see holding. But he has help. Lamar, this year we're going to see who helps him out. In the playoffs, I believe Zay. I, I ain't gonna. I ain't even worried about Zay. I think it's gonna be a magical year for the Ravens with Isaiah and um, Isaiah likely on his end coming out party. Mark Andrews fully healthy. Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman hopefully fully healthy with Nelly. We all seen him working out with Nelly. Nelly. Pop up in there and out of nowhere sometimes in games. We all seen it. Doing his thing. But how how this dude just continually I don't understand it, y'all. I know they hate on Lamar and everything. But like, come on. Come on, bro. That's I finna just vent y'all. This is some of the times I, I'm like, why come? Only, only the good Lord can answer this. People that actually know what they're talking about. I'm not including myself, obviously. But freaking, I'm going to say Hindo. Some, some people know him as Rogue Pied or Lunch Break Hot Take, Coach, Engraving, Nitro. The list goes on. Big Ridge, Justin P. The list goes on. Keeping it real. The list goes on of people know what they're talking about. Being straight honest, the good and the bad. It seems the negative. The, 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 the media always concentrates on the negative. And what Lamar has done negative is the only thing he hasn't made it to the Super Bowl. But do they see they say that about Justin Herbert? About, about Josh Allen? No! It's been getting on my nerves, y'all. I don't understand. I don't get it. Well, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I diverse. I just want to share that, y'all. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the share. Everybody stay safe. And God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. Vibe on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turn up. Be not, let it hit you with the phone.